We have uh, 1,200 uh, homeless veterans in Brevard County, estimated 4,200 in Central Florida and 17,000 in the state of Florida. 27% of our veterans today in Florida are Iraq Afghan veterans. Uh, first of all, there is no work. So with the, with the economy the way it is and with all the counties uh, downloading and, and trying to get their budget correct, uh, there is n no extra programs that we need. So a veteran who comes out of the service, his first avenue is to find work, uh, not to reveal his issues. Uh, it's a very long period before that veteran even tries to get into VA or even realizes that he might have an issue related to the VA. So he tries to do it on his own and go through work. And uh, if he's not successful at that, uh, he can't get rental. Can't we're, we're short on housing. We're short on apartments. So in our area, uh, they end up in the woods, uh, still seeking work, still trying to uh, be prideful of, of what they fought for is for our country. Uh, and looking for what avenues are available for him, uh, the very short-lived. So now they're afflicted with no work. Uh, they have no insurance for their vehicle. Uh, then they lose their license because of lack of insurance, and it's, a lot of it's based on funding. Uh, if they had a job, if the economy was stronger, we would have fewer uh, veterans uh, homeless. So the spiraling effect that happens is, okay, when they've lost those three entities, they start reaching out for help. And then they run into stumbling blocks. Uh, he gets profiled, first of all. He, it's not illegal to be homeless, but it's illegal to be homeless and set in some of our parks and recreation. So, and it goes one step further that parks and recreation is for the community public. But if you are homeless, which is not illegal to be homeless, if you are a homeless veteran, you go into parks and recreation, you are also arrested and pink slipped that you're not allowed to be in parks and recreation. So that's just another spiraling in effect. When they get that ticket and they have no funding, then every time the police officer sees them again, uh, they get a compound ticket. Now there's a capus for his arrest because he only had uh, so many days to pay this $30, $40 ticket. Uh, so it's another spiraling effect. So uh, and it doesn't end there uh, because he gets hungry. So then he gets pressure from the law enforcement. He gets pressure from not understanding why there's no work and where he's at when he's a very prideful person and not enough avenues to to support him to get him back where he needed to be. So the spiral effect uh, gets greater. The drug and alcohol with the mental illness gets greater. Uh, the facilities that are available due to short funding also get shorter. So it just gets to the point to where there's no place to turn except back to the veterans trained survival techniques, whatever it takes to survive. This is where I live here. This is your house or home? This is my home. I don't have no food because I've had some visitors. So you had food and people stole it? People stole it. You had cans of food over there. I see one can left. Yeah. I don't know what that was. It's uh, mixed vegetables. Right? Mixed vegetables? Yeah. So look. I have a gas stove that I use common fuel in. Camp fuel. It goes in here. How often do you cook for yourself? Every day. Every day. Yeah, Looks like you keep yourself neat and clean. I do. I stay clean. I, I, I keep nice clothes. I, you see, I got bathing stuff all in there. You go to the beach each day to take and a I shower. I go to the, the beach side, off of A1A 
and I take a shower at Canoco Beach. I take my shower there, and they got bathroom facilities there. And Completely all so you, you told me you got two tickets because you had a little sign that's saying that I you're was homeless? Flying a sign homeless in the sheriff's department and I owe $104 for that. So they they gave a hundred dollar ticket to a person who's homeless. Jesus. Yeah, I just hold a sign and I would take the walk down through the median. Yeah, we've all seen that. And you know. There's something wrong with giving a hundred dollar fine to a person who's homeless asking for a hand up. Somebody's well, fundamentally that, screwed up about that. The, that right now, my main concern is I just got released from the hospital because I had a heart attack and it was my third one. I had two stents placed in, and, and I'm busy now trying to get my uh, trying to get my. Uh, they told me I need to get a room for ACE with some AC in it at least for two or three days and get my prescription filled. I got four different medications on that. And I uh, really don't know how to go around and get assistance. How old are you? 55. 55 with three heart attacks and homeless. But my impression is, and if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, that it looks like you're trying to make the best of the situation you can. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to survive. I go to the labor hall down there at Workers every morning at 4 o'clock. So 4 a.m. you go to the labor hall? But I need a Florida identification. I have a Mississippi ID and they won't accept that. So you're trying to look for work. Every day you go at 4 o'clock and you can't find work. Right, and I can't come up to $25 that I need to get a Florida ID. I got documentation, I got my social security, my birth, and, and a, uh, but I don't have the $25 to, to get that with. What can be done to help them? Uh, what we have done in Florida, uh, Brevard County, uh, we've come a long ways. Uh, we try to partner with the VA. We try to get them a better avenue of getting them into medical treatment. Uh, we partner with the state attorney's office, uh, trying to get leniency with the state attorney's office with a uh, person who is homeless due to vagrant and due to holding a sign to try to take some of that financial uh, problem away from him so it's less of a dollar amount to get back to a driver's license. Are you a vet? Yep. Where did you serve? Uh, Navy, on board uh, USS Pensacola. How did you get to where you're at now? Oh, moving around job to job, different jobs or different cities and ended up here. A couple good jobs and the work right now. You look for work? Oh yeah. How long has it been since you've worked? Since I've worked a uh, regular job, probably about two years. For that? Mm -hmm. What's the message they need to get out to the American public? Well, there's a lot of us. Uh, you don't really realize how many. And uh, most of the people that did time, you know, in the service, uh, we, we get help. The, the Veterans Homeless uh, Organization and the, uh, the VA, but Nobody else really knows, that really understands how many vets are out here in the woods. What's it like? Had you ever been in homeless in the woods before? Yeah. But what's it like for someone who's just coming to that for the first time? They're totally lost. I've had a couple people that I brought out to my camp just to give them a hand because I see a lot of people that never been, never even thought about being homeless in their life. And then all of a sudden they're there and they don't have a clue. I mean, being ex-military, we at least know a little bit about survival. But other people, they're totally lost. 